comment design pattern. This comment design pattern is falling under the behavioral design pattern category and this is a data driven design pattern. So, comment pattern is a data driven design pattern and falls under the behavioral design pattern category. A request is wrapped under an object as command and passed to the invoker object. Invoker object looks for the appropriate object which can handle this command and passes this command to the corresponding object which can execute it. So, that is the basic concept of this command design pattern and it is known as the data driven design pattern. I think to have a better concept on this uh, on this particular logic. So, let us go for one Java application uh, implementation of this command design pattern and that demonstration will be associated with the UML class diagram also for the better understanding. So, here is the demonstration for you. Let us discuss on this command design pattern. The command design pattern encapsulates a request as an object and thereby letting us parameterize other objects with different requests, queue or log requests and support undoable operations. So, if the definition is becoming little bit tricky, so let us go for one implementation to have a better understanding. Here we have created an interface order which is acting as a command and we have created a stock class which acts as a request. So, here we are having this class that is the interface order which will be behaving as a command and this is one stock class which will be uh, acting as a request and we have concrete command classes. So, that is the buy stock and the sell stock implementing the order interface which will do actual command processing. A class broker is created which acts as an invoker object and it can take and place orders as well. Broker object uses command pattern to identify which object will execute and which command based on the type of the command issued. And common pattern demo of a demo class will use the broker class to demonstrate common pattern. So, that is the basic concept in our command design pattern. So, let us go for the coding for the better understanding. So, here is the coding for us. So, here we have divided our uh, operations and implementations into six different steps. Step number one, create a common interface that is order.java. So, here we are having this order.java. It is nothing but one interface and it is having only one unimplemented method that is the void execute method. So, that is our order which is one interface. Next one is that we shall create one request class that is a stock.java that is our step number two. So, this is our stock.java we can consider as a request class this one and order as the command class. In case of stock we are having this name abc and quantity of integer type 10. And here we are having two methods one is a buy and another one is a sell and the buy is printing this message that means this item with this quantity have been bought and th in the cell this item with this quantity it has been sold. So, it has been mentioned in the buy and the sell method. So, public void buy and public void sell methods. So, that is our stock class here. Okay. Now, create a uh, concrete classes implementing the order interface. We know that order is one interface which is having only one method that is unimplemented method that is execute. So, buy stock java and sell stock dot java. We are going for this buy stock dot java which is implementing order. It is having one stock object as instance variable. So, buy stock is nothing but the constructor which will take this stock object as input argument which will instantiate, which will in instantiate this ABC stock, which is the instance variable here. And execute, will execute ABC stock dot buy. We know that in case of stock, we are having two methods. One is a buy, another one is a sell. In case of buy stock, the execute method, which is defined under this order interface. So, it is, it is the body is getting uh, written here as a ABC stock dot buy. In case of sell stock, in case of cell talk, you can find that it is also implementing the order interface. So, order interface is having only one method execute. Okay. So, now we are having this stock uh, instance variable that is the ABC stock. So, cell stock is a constructor which will take one stock object as input document and that will instantiate 
the instance variable abc stock here and in the execute which is there unimplemented in the order interface the execute method is having abc stock dot cell and from this name there is a cell stock we are executing this abc stock dot cell and in case of buy stock we are executing abc stock dot buy because we are having two methods here one is a buy another one is a sell so now we are going to have our broker dot java in case of broker dot java we are having one add a list and this particular add a list on this particular add a list will be having our uh, operations so there is a take order so which will add the order objects with this add a list because this add a list is supposed to hold the order objects here and we are having another another method that is a place hold, uh, orders and then in that case for order order colon order list so for each and every uh, order object we are just executing order dot execute so depending upon the type of this order object depending upon the type of this order object either the buy or the sell will be executed because you know that we are having this uh, stock dot java we are having this buy stock which is implementing this order and sell stock which is implementing this order so in this broker we are expecting the order objects will be there in our order list add a list and then order dot execute will execute the respective method so for the better understanding we'll be going for command pattern demo dot java and remember after after executing all these order objects for this all these order objects after executing this execute method we are making this order list dot clear so that is our common pattern demo dot java so here we have defined one stock object that is the abc stock and then buy stock object that is a buy stock order is equal to new buy stock abc stock and then sell stock object we are having the sell stock so sell stock is this one that is one class implementing this order interface so there is a sell stock so we are having this sell stock order is equal to new sell stock abc stock here so abc stock is nothing but one stock object so now here we are having this broker broker is equal to new broker so broker class object is broker and broker dot take order buy stock order broker dot take order sell stock order so these are the buy stock order this is the sell stock order so we know that here we are just uh, adding the, them to the add list and then broker dot place order so what will happen the execute method will be executed for for them so if if i go for the execution you can find that and during this execute during this execute that is a broker dot execute you know in case of broker dot execute actually it is order dot execute so in this order dot execute there is a respective method but this method has got defined here there is a abc stock dot buy and this sell abc stock dot sell and this sell and buy this sell and buy these methods were defined under the class stock here because abc is nothing but stock object so here we are having this common pattern demo so here we are having this uh, stock abc stock is equal to new stock so we are defining one stock object that is the abc stock buy stock object is buy stock order sell stock object is sell stock order they have got instantiated calling this respective constructors passing this abc stock as input parameter broker object has been defined so broker so broker dot take order so buy stock order it has got added to the add list and broker dot take order so sell stock sell stock or stock order it is it has got added to the uh, to the add list and then broker dot place orders so for each and every uh, order uh, picking up from the add list we are going for execution of the execute method so if i execute the same we are getting at first we are getting this particular bot and then we are getting this sold here okay now this is our eml diagram so order is the uh, is our interface it has got implemented in the buy stock and the sell stock and stock is another class so this particular stock is another class so it has got one uh, uh, instance variable here that is the abc stock so this sell stock is having sell stock is having this abc stock that is a stock object under the private scope so that's why we are getting here minus symbol because abc stock is private similarly here also we are having this abc stock as private here so for this buy stock and then we are having this broker this broker is having one order list which is containing order objects which can hold order objects so this order list is nothing but one array list object and which can hold 
order objects. And these are the respective methods. So broker is a constructed here. Take order, order, colon, void. So it returns void. It is under the public scope. And place order orders is another method which is under the public scope. And here we are having this command pattern demo dot Java. Having this command pattern demo constructor and the public static main void main string arg. So there is a respective main function from where the execution has got initiated. So this is our uh, command pattern design pattern. So there is a command design pattern and we have shown you through some Java code. Let us revise once. We are having this interface order, having got only one method execute. We are having this stock and we are having this name and quantity ABC and 10 here. And we are having two methods under the stock that is a buy and sell which will print this respective string. Buy stock is actually implementing this order interface. So execute is having the body abc stock dot buy abc stock is stock class object here. And this is the this is the object has got instantiated through this constructor. Similarly for the cells also, but here we are calling this abc stock dot sell. This is the ins constructor to instantiate this abc stock that is a stock class object. And then we are having this broker which is having one add a list which will be holding the order objects. We have defined one take order function which takes on order object as input argument which will go on adding this order object to this order list and we are having this place orders. Here we are having this for loop and uh, for each member of this order list it will execute the order dot execute and order list dot clear will be the uh, will be the operation to be done. So the add list will get cleared after exiting from this for loop and there is a command pattern demo. So here we have defined this stock object ABC stock is equal to new stock buy stock object is buy stock order is equal to new buy stock ABC stock sell stock uh, respective class object is sell stock order is equal to new sell stock ABC stock broker object has been defined and with this broker object we have added our buy stock order and this sell stock order. So these two objects we are adding it to the respective array list through this method take order and then in case of place orders we are executing the for loop and we are executing the respective execute method from the respective object. So that is the total conception whatever we have tried to share here in this command design pattern. Thanks for watching this video.